I know I said no more wire brush videos, but check this thing out. <clears throat> this I got this at that same yard sale <laughs> for those uh, with those um, wrenches. And watch what happens when you. Oh great! I do still have a switch press. If I I found a use for this old grinder with no guard on it, but the switch. Goes back. Kind of levels out, kind of planes out a little bit. Watch this. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Yes, sir. You have to watch the fingers around this thing, though. That will tear them off. I decided to play around with this thing a little bit, see if I can't get that pitman arm off because um, I want to get to cleaning all this stuff. Got it kind of funkily chucked up in the vise. And I'm between wrenches again, uh, sizes. I don't have a socket uh, that's this big, which I know I'm going to have to uh, rectify that. Um, because going together, everything's going to have to go on with a torque wrench. Huh. I have no idea. And, uh, what is that concrete on this sucker, too? Man, I don't really like this. He's a loo. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I don't like that. I give it a little tap or two and see. So, uh, basically the point of this is that I have no idea. This could even be um, left-hand thread as far as I know. I mean, I doubt it. I don't know why, but <clears throat> maybe it could be. I'm going to wait till the manual, my uh, new manual comes in. And um, check it out. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Plus, I could, between now and that point come up with, I think that's probably inch and a quarter, and I could come up with a socket. I'm going to need it anyway, so I will probably do that. One of the things I struggle with on this project, <clears throat> Along with a lot of things, really, <clears throat> is this concept of uh, good enough. I mean, I get, I understand the definition of the words, good and enough. And I say it a lot. That's good enough. But then I just can't leave it alone.
I mean, when you're saying good enough, and it's grease, <coughs> what you're saying is, I don't care the paint's not going to stick to that. You know? I mean, this. I don't care that there's not going to be paint there. Because that's what's going to happen. It's just not going to stick to the thing. There's really, I don't know how you get good enough. I mean, it's not like, well, it's going to not look as good there. Or, no, there won't be any paint if there's grease. I mean, it's some kind of, you know, there's some kind of bond created, I'm sure, in like a existential sense between the grease and the paint. But they won't be on your car anymore. So it doesn't really matter. I don't think. Bob Saget, this is just never gonna end. Good enough. All right, here's how this is going down. Pretty well done. Ready to go, I think. Um, I am going to do one final brake cleaner prep and then acetone. Brake cleaner, just to get, because I mean, I use the brush basically to get that last bit what do they got going on with this thing no I'm just gonna be tough with it I guess um, <clears throat> anyways I'd gone over it with the wire brush and brake cleaner which left you know kind of a greasy film on it and stuff so I want to get it with the brake cleaner one time and then with the acetone wipe it down and then she'll be ready to paint with the pour 15 rust pre preventative permanent coating you know they've got a treatment too but this seals rust permanently professional use no need to remove rust for applying lead free for metal substrates only. Paint directly over rust, it says. So it's kind of a paint permanent coating, it's called. So, um, I also have some other stuff on the way. And I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> but I got it from, um, oh, it's uh, crud something. Anyways, I'll... Um, I'll show you that when I get it too. It's just converter, it's not the paint or anything.
<laughs> I see more grease. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> All right, 20 minutes later, got a couple more grease spots cleaned up. Finished with the um, brake cleaner clean up. <clears throat> And now I'm on to the acetone. I gotta do any tack rag or anything like that. This is, I don't care what gets in it, how it looks. I just want it to adhere. Oh yeah, it's good. Good needing that. Cleaned it pretty good with the brake cleaner, but you can definitely see the difference of running the acetone on it. Did it with a white shirt. Race wasted a good white rag on it. But I figured, what the heck? We'll see what that looks like. Thinking it's clean. And then acetone. Doke. I need to find something to stir that with. Alrighty, this is it. <clears throat> Can't believe with as much as I paint stuff, I don't have any sticks or openers, but. I probably had them and just threw them away. Alright, here's the stuff. <clears throat> here's my stir stick. Useless bracket for shelving. <clears throat> Doesn't really give a lot of indication about what stirring needs to consist of on that that I saw. Yeah, at all. It doesn't say anything about stirring it. Well, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's not mixing anything up. Nothing separated. It says it's the two thin coats. It does go a long way. Spreads easy. Covers real well too. <clears throat> well, I might be able to do this whole car with this thing. Where this stuff comes out of here. First piece. I 
I don't want to rub it in, any of it off if I flip it over, so I'm going to just let that dry. I think I'll do more than one piece at a time, I guess. Alright, I'll prep the next one. goes on easy. This is the uh, this is a bumper bracket from the driver's side and um, I, I took it off just to get it out of the way of cleaning the frame, thinking that because at one point it was white, that it was supposed to be painted with the body. <clears throat> but um, looking closer at the other bracket, it appears that they just, when they, because the truck was originally teal or sea foam, whatever that they just, uh, it was probably black, and they just didn't mask it off and, and uh, painted it when they repainted it white. So I figured I'm going back to black with it then.
Okay, all the parts are done that I've got right now. And that's how much core 15 I used. That stuff goes a long ways. I got pretty sloppy with it on this control arm, lower control arm because my back's at it. So <clears throat> I kind of went more with a one thick coat, one sloppy coat better rather than too thin, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, here we are the morning after. They are really shiny. I was not actually expecting that. It's kind of it's kind of like clear coating them. Man. I'll tell you what, I can say for sure that it would not be a problem to use that court to do the entire frame and everything because I feel like I've, and you can kind of see how I got to pry it up off the board here. I would say I probably ended up putting it on a little thick and it's, it's uh, barely any of it used. Uh, I know that it's supposed to turn the rust or, uh, black when it's done <clears throat> treating it and you can see that I mean I probably gonna call this potentially unnecessary because I just didn't have that much rust I'm gonna have to reread that thing and will paint stick to this I mean this is glossy I sure hope so. I could be in some trouble with that. It's got to. What kind of stupid product would that be? Well, let's get about do it for this one, I think. Uh, got quite a bit done. Uh, probably this week I'll paint <clears throat> these parts and um, I don't know if I can get to it. I'll do some uh, more sandblasting and uh, painting on the frame then. I do have some parts that are ordered and on their way. They're shipped. Uh, still probably won't be here till next week, um, but I can start putting some of these parts back together. I didn't uh, probably noticed on the parts that I did, I didn't do the shafts for the control arms, and that's because I'm just resigned to ordering the new ones so they're well I haven't gotten the the uh, upper control arm yet because that one just kind of killed me because I did find uh, bushings for it but no seals so <laughs> didn't really help not having uh, having bushings but no seals doesn't help me so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and order the the whole thing for that as well but uh, Otherwise, uh, I think everything went pretty good. I'm going to be picking out wires for my uh, uh, sweatshirt sleeves for a while because uh, that wire brush on the um, grinder definitely sheds a few wires every now and then. Yeah, probably a good idea to wear sleeves. Again, common sense garage. We already got the goggles or the safety glasses on. Probably a good idea to put some sleeves on. If you get poked, though, who cares? Um, otherwise, I think this is probably going to be the longest video I put out, so I'm going to end it here and uh, update hopefully pretty soon with some painted stuff. See you next time.